Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a patron. Now this is an, another OpenTX video that's been prompted by a subscriber who wanted to know how to turn a momentary switch so that one click turns your whatever on and what, the second click turns it off. So it's quite simple to do. We're going to use the uh, edge option and the sticky option. So let's first switch over to the computer and we'll have a look in uh, OpenTX Companion and then we'll go over to my radio and I'll show you it in the radio. Now let's open the model I set up and first thing we're going to go to is our logical switches. Now you can see here on logical switch one I've picked the function edge I'm going to use the TX16S, so I'm using switch H, the momentary switch which is on the right of the radio. Then in the V2, you would put zero and you just choose the second option as instant, and we put nothing else in. Then the second line is simply just uh, logical switch two, is sticky option, the function, and then it's logical switch one and logical switch one again in V2 and V1. Now, if we go to our mixes, now what you would have to do is on the mix, whatever you're using this, you would now change the source from switch H to logical switch two. And now we should be good to go. Now that's all you need to do in here. There's no other settings you need to change. So if we cancel and we simulate, uh, we're gonna push the model key and again. So if we go to switch H and we click, the switch goes one way and then there you go you can see it's it's operating basically on and off and the subscriber asked this for setting up the buzzer on it was actually they wanted to set it up onto the tx12 onto one of the push buttons uh, so there we go now let's take a look at the settings on the tx16s we're going to hit the model button we're going to go across to our logical switches and you can see logical switch one is edge switch h in the back position and then we've got 0.0, .0 no figures in there but here you can see it's slightly different on companion it actually says instant here it's two arrows pointing to the left then we go to logical switch 2 which the function is sticky and then we've got to pick in v1 and v2 logical switch 1 logical switch 1 now if we go around and we go to our mixes and we go down to the channel that i'm testing this on now you can see here, this source would have been switch H. We have to switch it over now to be logical switch zero two, and then everything else stays the same. Now if we hit the, uh, so we come out, we hit the model key. Now we can demonstrate it. We watch channel, uh, channel five. You can see, if I click the button, we go to the servo, technically we go to full throw, we click again and the servo comes back. So you could adjust this if you wanted to use this for a bomb drop door on an aeroplane to make it work perfectly. You would just adjust the weight until it came to what you require. And there we go, that's the settings on the TX16S. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. And if you any specific help you need with OpenTX, I, if I don't know how, I will figure out how to do it for you. So please leave a, a question in the description of this video and I will try and help you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.